Disturbing discovery this week in St. Clair Township where animal control officers sees 83 dogs living in stacked wire cages. The dogs, along with four cats and two birds, they were taken from a known breeder's home on Monday after an animal neglect tip. 7 Action News reporter Jen Schantz is in Sterling Heights tonight where those in the worst shape are now recovering. Spending their lives in wire cages and not having their hair or their toenails trimmed has left these dogs, like little Trina, unable to walk normally. Now, many of them are here at Serenity Animal Hospital in Sterling Heights, beginning their road to recovery. They were brought here from St. Clair Township. Monday, the county's animal control department got a tip about possible neglect at a breeder's home. What they found were 83 dogs, four cats, and two birds, in conditions bad enough that officers removed the animals. The dogs were majority of them were so matted and their toenails were so overgrown they could hardly walk and they couldn't speak. The dogs, ranging in age from as young as 12 weeks up to around 10 years old, have been moved to area rescues for now and have been shaven and washed. Many have serious health issues. One had surgery on Friday uh, because she had an infected uterus. This dog has a broken jaw from what the vet says is a result of improper teeth pulling. He's scheduled for surgery on Monday. Most of them, their teeth are so bad that they will just fall out. Animal Control says the breeder had neglect calls in the past. She did express that she knew that their coats were bad, but other than that, she thought they were fine. Based on the number of animals seized, they plan to recommend felony animal cruelty and neglect charges to the county prosecutor. Despite a very rocky beginning, staff here at Serenity is optimistic these dogs have a bright future. Even the dog that we did surgery on, we had a couple toys in her cage. She'd never had toys before and she started playing with them already. None of the rescue dogs are available for adoption yet. They'll have to be spayed and neutered first and animal control says given their history they may be a lot of work. Anyone interested in applying for adoption or donating supplies can head to our website wxyz.com. In Sterling Heights, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.